jenknodal.com. Hi, everybody. I'm Jen Canodal with jenknodal.com. And today I have a very special guest, Larry Waite. Hi, Larry. Hi. How are you? <laughs> Today. I'm fantastic. Now, um, Larry is extremely accomplished. I love that he has pretty much spearheaded the um, social media launch for Belize. Um, he's also a writer for the Huffington Post. He's an entrepreneur. He's an internet marketing strategist. And he is also the chairman of the Cayo Chapter of Belize Tour Industry Association. Try saying that three times. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah you can just see just looking at his face look he's he's so young and um what a go-getter i'm i'm so excited for you uh to be talking with me and and as i was telling you earlier i can uh i can see just the aura of how beautiful it is there yeah, yeah it's a very beautiful country it's um a, a lot of people uh describe Belize as mother nature's best secret that yeah. used to be the, the slang and Belize's mantra for a number of years. But then the Belize Tourism Board say, oh, it's no longer a secret because everybody's not uh, traveling to Belize. So the secret is out. <laughs> That's right. Not everybody, because I haven't been there just quite yet, but I like that we're talking about it. And um, that's actually what we're going to talk about a little bit today. You're going to give us uh, 10 or so places that um, you got to go when you visit Belize. You're right. Well, take the it, best, take it away. the best places, the best destinations, and the best things to do, and the best things to eat when you travel to Belize. Well, I, I was reading one of your articles, and uh, is is making tamales uh, one of those places? Yes, it's making um, tamales is is one of the most favorite food for many Belizeans. I, I in particular love it, and um, it's a very requires a lot of work, but at the end of the day, the product is really tasty and it's really delicious. And um, the a lot of people, um, especially the, the mestizo culture here in um, Belize, they're the ones that um, do the tamales. And if, if you go, like, for example, on a Saturday mor um, morning, like tomorrow is a Saturday, and if you go to the San Ignacio market, you can definitely pick up some tamales and, and have it with... Um, potato salad or, or but the, the the Belize potato salad which is like really really delicious mm. uh, but but the, the tour that um, I am um, discuss in the article that I wrote for the Huffington Post it takes you to um, a Maya village here in um, western Belize the name of the Maya village is San Antonio and then you get to to um, do the tamales with the Maya people and the 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 Maya people created um, this initiative so that they could promote their culture and, and promote the food, which is which is pretty awesome. That is awesome. I um, grew up in Texas and would watch my grandmother make the tamales, and it was a group event. Her and all her friends would come over, and it was an all-day thing. I don't know how many they made, but it was, uh, and they just, <laughs> I mean, it, it looked like a good time, but, uh, but yeah, so, so tell us some more places. Um, we have Placencia in, in southern Belize, for example. It's a beautiful peninsula. It has the best beaches in Ooh. in um, the country. And recently, it was um, ranked as one of the the best um, places to go and, and relax on the beach by some top travel uh, website out there. I forgot um, the name of the the place. And um, they have places like, for example, like Chabelmar Villas. It's a very very immaculate and spectacular resort and it's right on the Placencia beach and last month for example I, I, and I, I did a, a tour to um to a beautiful key called them laughing bird key the snorkeling is spectacular you get to swim with them um, nurse sharks and um sea turtles sharks. and, and stingies and a whole bunch of, of colorful um uh, uh, sea creatures and the other thing too that um, I don't know if you're familiar is that Belize has the second largest barrier reef in the world I didn't know that yeah Australia is the number one Belize is number two wow. in the western hemisphere Belize has the yeah is is the country that has the, the best barrier reef and it's spectacular for diving and and, and snorkeling Wow. Fishing, sailing, wow. yeah. 
And I think in the 1800s, when Charles Darwin was sailing in this part of the world, he his remark was, it's one of the most um, uh, beautiful reef I ever seen in the West Indies. That's what he said. If, wow. if you Google Charles Darwin and, and you read his uh, Wikipedia page, he describes the Belizean Reef as one of the most beautiful thing he ever saw in the West Indies. I'm I'm so excited to see it. Now I know I know you're on an iPad, and uh, can you kind of just move yourself to the center more? Yeah, like okay. like a tamale. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like okay. a tamale. Yeah, yeah, just right in the middle. The other destination that um, I recommend is um, Hopkins, which is um, in it's it's close to. Um, to Placencia, and it's the Garifuna capital of the country. The, I don't know if you have heard about the Garifuna culture. No? The, the, <laughs> <laughs> the, the Garifuna culture, um, they, they, they came, the, the Garifuna people, right, they, they came to Belize in the um, early 1900s and they settled in the, the southern um, part of the country in places like Dangriga and Hopkins and Punta Gorda. And um, they are known for for its um, music. Uh, I think when when this this interview is over, you gotta go to Google and you search for Garifuna music Belize, and you're going to listen to to the to the music of the Garifuna, which is very nice. It's very soothing and it's very relaxing. Mm. And those are the kind of you. So if, let's say if you go to Hopkins, you'll be able to 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 eat food like the hudut, which is a a very very delicious Garifuna meal, and you you can also learn how to make drums. You can also learn how to play drums, and you you can also interact and know more about the Garifuna culture. That sounds and then, so fantastic. Yeah, and this is in Hopkins. And then if you go to PG or Punta Gorda, which is again is the last district in um, in southern Belize, you could um, enter the Maya people. I think 12% of Belize's population is um, comprised of the Maya people. And by the way, Belize has a very small population. Our population is just 350,000 people. Wow. Yeah, 350,000 people. So you know everybody. It's like, it's like Cheers. <laughs> Have you seen that show, Cheers? Everybody knows your name? Yeah. <laughs> and Not quite. We attained, Belize attained its independence in 1981. Again, I don't know if uh, if you knew this, but the the Queen of England is also the Queen of Belize, Queen Queen Elizabeth II. I did not know that. How does that work out? Well, they're the ones that it, 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 they were the ones that that um, found Belize. Belize was a was a colony until 1981 when we attained our independence. Yeah, and in 1974, Belize changed its name from the the name was British Honduras. Maybe you. British Honduras? Yeah. In, but in 1974, we changed to Belize. Yeah. Fantastic. I'm learning so much. Yeah. All right, so where <laughs> should I go? Where can I go well, dance? You could, you could also check out Ambergis Key. Ambergis Key just got rated like two days ago by TripAdvisor as one of the, mo the, the top um, place or island to visit for this year. Uh, Belize has been um, making in the news, like CNN is writing about it, BBC News, and all the top travel blogs uh, out there, even the Los Angeles Times. They're writing, go to Belize, go to Ambergis Key. Um, if you, so if you're going um, um, to Ambergis Key, right, you have to check out this um, resort called Victoria House. It's one of the most um, beautiful resorts in, in um in Ambergis Key, and some of the activities that you could do, you could go and dive the hole. Have you heard about the Great Blue Hole of Belize? Um, maybe, but I, I not not enough to yeah, talk about. That's it. one of the the, the, the most top uh, attractions in the country. The Great Blue Hole, you can go there and you can dive. You can also go snorkeling to the Hol Chan Marine Reserve. It's a very very beautiful. Um, reserve for snorkeling. Again, you, you could you get to swim with um, the nurse sharks, and you get to swim with uh, sea turtles and and a whole variety of, of um, fishes. And if you're into fishing, it's also a, a great um, destination to go fishing and, and um, sailing and kayaking. Those are some of the activities that you can do. 
But the other laid back island that is close to Lombergis Key is Key Cocker. And it's, um, it's uh, also a good destination to just go there and, and relax on the beach. If you go to Kikaka, for example, you have to go check out the split. Split is like um, a bar that is right on the beach, and, and you get to drink Belican beer. Belican beer, by the way, is the national beer of Belize. Okay. And you just hang out and enjoy the, the Belizean vibes. The, the motto of Kikaka is go slow. Oh, so you I gotta love go it. <laughs> I love that. That is not yeah. the American so, motto. <laughs> yeah, so I think I think the the Kikaker people um they they are all about uh, being human being rather than a human doing because they just you know go slow. <laughs> I love. And that. you gotta check out the food in Kikaker too is very very delicious like the seafood the the the. The the conch ceviche, the shrimp ceviche, oh, lobster ceviche. ceviche. Those, those are the is kind of things favorite. you have to taste in Key Cocker. Yeah, you know. Oh, that's amazing! <laughs> I just I I just want to like crawl out of my skin and be there right now. You're making it sound so amazing. Um, do you, you, you have any other spots for us? I mean, I know you could go on and on forever, but we're trying to hit the. Hit the, yeah. hit the top. And then San Ignacio, San Ignacio or the Cayo District. The Cayo District is the ecotourism capital of Belize. If you really want to check out them, um, um, waterfalls and Maya Temple sites and, and you want to go caving or zip lining or hiking or horseback riding, you got to come to Cayo. And I'm located in, um, in the Cayo District and San Ignacio. And there are places like in San Ignacio that you could stay for $55 a night, $90 uh, US a night. And for example, there's, there's this um, beautiful um, resort here in San Ignacio called Calpech Village Resort. It, it sits on top of the Calpech Hills. And Calpech, by the way, is one of the most ancient uh, Maya sites in the, and here in, in Western Belize. And it's, a, it's, a, um, it's described as a, by archaeologists as a royal palace. So it was, the royal elite Maya people that lived in Calpech. So wow. it's, it's also one of the, uh, the things that you have to see. And the, the other thing too you could do in San Ignacio is um, Junantonich. Junantonich is um, a top attraction. The, the majority of, of people who come to the Cairo area, they go check out them, Junantonich. And the, the, um, the site was... Um, the, the highest it has one of the highest um peaks right mm -hmm. in the country it, 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 i'm not not peaks the, the tallest building in the country can be found in um Zunantonich. Oh, and then okay. the, there's also areas like the the mountain pine ridge um uh, nature reserve they have um reowned pools they have big rock waterfalls and they have a thousand um the the, the thousand um, feet the foot where you can go swimming and just relax and, and um, enjoy yourself and then if you also want to check out Tikal in Guatemala, uh, you could do so. And like, like I had indicated earlier, it's just um, an hour away from San Ignacio town. Is that when you take the chicken bus or something? Well, you could take the chicken bus or you could uh, book um, a tour with um, different tour operators in San Ignacio. They, they offer daily Tikal um, trips. If you want to overnight in Tikal, you can also do that and then come back the next day to Belize. And by the way, um, we also speak Spanish here in Belize, and we speak Creole and a whole variety of other languages. I know. You were, we were talking about that earlier. That's amazing. You were saying it's pretty common for uh, people that live in Belize to speak three languages, and we're over here struggling with just English. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a multicultural society. I love that. It, of 350,000 people, so it's pretty amazing. Um, Country. It it sounds amazing. You haven't said one thing that I haven't thought. I want to do that. I want to. Yeah. Mm -hmm, yeah. Mm -hmm, yeah. Mm -hmm, I want to do that. And that. Yeah. And you. That. You have to come now and and, and visit uh, for yourself and and find out the um, the the beautiful uh, things that Belize offers. And right now is uh the perfect time to visit. It's um the high. That's when a lot of people from North America come to Belize and, and just explore the area and, and check out the sites and canoeing and bird watching and a whole 
the the whole the whole different activities and and tours that are available to to participate in. Where would you tell someone to um, you know, go and, and, and when they're doing their research, how how would you tell them to plan out their vacation? Well, there are sites like travel travelbelize.org is the um be, the Belize tourism website. It has a lot of information on, on, on the country. It talks about the districts, the, the tours, the attractions. There's also a website like Belize.com, um, which um, has information on, on, on maybe the top 10 things to eat in Belize, the top 10, the top 10 things to um, drink, the top 10 things to, um, to do. And there are, there's also um, a, a that I created for the country. It's called BelizeHub.com. And I, I blog about Belize and post photos or any news that um, it's more like a like a content curated site. What I do is I collect the best out of the best content that is out there on Belize and I put it on this blog and I link to the to the give give credit you know where credit is due to um if like, like for example when when you put up this video out there I'm going to put it up on Belize. Oh, that, look at that! I'll, I'll share it with <laughs> maybe my thir- my thirty thousand followers on Twitter and friends on Facebook and and get it out there you know to the the world or maybe even do a, a an article in the Huffington Post. There you go. We're getting now we're getting fancy. Or you're gonna have a whole you're gonna have a whole host of uh Jen Visits Belize uh videos, a whole video series about Belize. I'm, I'm it it just looks and sounds so wonderful and um I really appreciate you taking the time out and um I'm really uh admire your um just your, your gumption and your, your innovativeness and everything that you've been able to, uh, create over there and trailblaze. And, and the thing that I like as well is in reading your articles that I know it's not just about the money for you. I, I can tell that you really love this place and you want to preserve it in a way that keeps it beautiful for everyone. You don't just want a bunch of throngs of tourists, you know, leaving their, Right. Cheetos wrappers all over the place, or <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and that, that's one of the reasons why I, I love promoting um, ecotourism um, um, in my articles. If you go to to my profile on the Huffington Post, you will see that um, I um, did one recently on the ecotourism in Belize, and then I also interviewed them, um, Mr. Mike Green, who is an independent co- um, consultant on um, ecotourism. He is also the only person that um, certifies. Uh, He's a Green Globe certifier then of resorts, and I don't know if you're familiar with Green Globe. They they certify businesses on not how green they are, or, or where or where they, they or the things that they should do to 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 become more environmentally friendly. So that's the kind of work that he does, and um, those are the kind of things too that I, I want to see more in, in Belize, and I want that's why I, I help him promote um, his work um, online. Yeah, yeah, we'll have to chat with him next time. I'm actually, actually, I'm wearing a shirt that says "Be Green." Be Green. <laughs> I, I wow. was thinking about it when I put it on today. I was like, "Oh, I'll wear my Be Green T-shirt." Yeah. Wow. Very red. Eh? I'll, I'll bring <laughs> so it. I'll bring it. What with we're me. talking about. That's awesome. <laughs> Well, again, yeah. um, thank you so much. Is there anything that I, I know we could talk about this forever? Um, is but is there anything specifically that I didn't ask you that you want to tell us about for this particular video? Well, I, I just want to invite everybody to to come to Belize and 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 see what um, the the beauty that Belize offers for. And there's there's always something for everyone here in Belize. If if you're into diving, you gotta check out the bar. If you're into hiking, come and and do a. Uh, a hike on the rainforest. If if you're into food, we 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 have eight ethnic groups, you know, and we you can you can try a, a particular um, meal from the eight ethnic groups. That and if you want to learn uh, Garifuna, you can go to Hopkins or Dangriga or um, PG and and, and um, the Toledo district and, and learn their language. You know, so there's something for everybody. So that is that is what I want to tell. Everybody. Thank you so much. Yeah. Well, uh, we are going to uh, wrap up this video. I know uh, you're probably as enthralled as I am with Belize, so definitely check out the websites. I'll make sure I put the info in the um, description below. And if yeah. you like this video, please comment and subscribe, and make sure you go to jenknittle.com and sign up for my newsletter. And thanks again, Larry, so much. We'll talk to you again soon. Okay. Uh, adios. Adios. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you.
Hey, thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel and please share with your friends. Also, check out my website, jenkinodal.com.